Welcome back to Todd Family TV. I'm Abby and today we'll be painting birdhouse gourds. <music> I'm just going to be painting some white and then I might do some decorative ones. I'm using, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's barn and fence wood finish. It, it makes them really weather resistant, which is really nice. And then I just have a two inch brush. We have a couple birdhouse boards. One garbage bag full. And this one's even fuller. Two garbage bag full. So, we have a couple. Yeah. Well, anyways, let's just get started. And then I'll kind of explain to you what I'm doing. So, grab one out of here. This is roughly what a birdhouse board looks like. Uh, we grow them, they're a greenish color, I think. It was a couple of years ago when we grew these. And then you let them dry out, like over winter. And then they get to be this brownish color, but I'll shake it. You can hear that. That is all the seeds and stuff inside there rattling around. So we're going to paint these. And then I'm going to drill some holes in them so birds can get in there and make a nest. We have had like wrens get in here and build nests. They're they're neat to watch, especially when the eggs hatch. Um, so I think I'm just gonna get started here. Sorry if the lighting isn't real great in here, but I'll just make do. I'll move later to a different room. I'm just doing the base coat in here. So I just have some newspaper laid down and just open this up. Okay. You can see it's not the prettiest paint ever. I don't know if you can see it very well, but stir it up and it's good. Um, I usually do two layers on these, and I'm just gonna move this out of the way and then move the gourds in so you can see. word that I have to go up. Alright, I am back and they've been drying. They're still a little wet, um, but they're pretty dry enough uh, dry enough for me to go on to the next step. Um but if you look, I don't know if the camera picks up very well, but you can see it just doesn't really cover it very well. You can tell that it's been painted. You can see the brush strokes and it just doesn't cover it very well. So we're gonna add another layer on that. But before we do that, um we're actually going to paint the bottoms of them, um, get a nice layer of that on. So I just, um, just let me move these out of the way a little bit. Alright. Alright, um, so... I just go around the bottom here like this. Okay, we just want to make sure that everywhere on this gourd has a layer of paint on it. So, um, after you do that, um, I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, so um, we have these wire sh shelves that are about I don't know two feet off the ground or so and so I'm this is the first time I'm trying this but what I'm gonna do is I just put some newspaper or old ads that come in the newspaper 
down there and then I have some little scissor type things and some yarn and I'm going to hang the gourds up there so they can dry the top and the bottom at the same time so we don't have to worry about that sticking to the newspaper as it dries and we can paint those both at the same time which I think is going to be really nice um so anyway that's what I'm going to try um again I've never tried this before so we'll just kind of have to see what happens but anyways um that's what I'm going to do Okay, um, it is about 9 o'clock in the morning right now, and I am down here. I've been down here painting some. I've got, um, the second layer all the way from there all the way down to there. And then that one I just hung up and got the first layer on. Alright, it is a another day. I was pretty busy yesterday. I didn't have another chance to get in here and do it. We were outside a lot. We went fishing some. And so, I'm back in here today. And I'll show you. Yesterday, I did bring this up here. I have the drill with just a hole saw on. If you can see that. Very good. The lighting's not the best in here, but um, we'll make do. So you can see I've got the hole saw on and now we're just going to drill some holes in gourds. So just get it about where you want the hole. Um, you make sure that it needs to be on the ground, not like on your legs. So if the drill slips that you're not going to drill into yourself. There we go. Um, you can see a nice little hole there, and then that's what it looks like. You can kind of rub off the extra pieces, and then this one, they're almost cemented to the wall, but you can see there is tons of seeds in there and stuff, um, so we have to clean that all out pretty soon. But I'm going to get all the holes drilled first, and then we'll move on to the next step. I got um, eight gourds. This, is, this bucket is bigger than an ice cream bucket by a little bit, but I got a lot out of those gourds. <laughs> 